Space Explorers between the lines. And three, two, one, go! And we're up here on Planet Primus with another sandstorm. 2485 Warlords making a move with the hatch panel to the side of the blue cargo ship. It's on. It's good. 1369 successfully placing a hatch panel on the back side of their rocket ship. As we reach our teleop portion and the sand has cleared, we see 1369 Minotaur picking out a piece of cargo as it comes out of that cargo ship and placing it in another bay, Bay 3, on that back side. On the front side of the field, we have one of our red robots trying to play some offense. It looks like it's going to be Tech Tigers Robotics 1251 out there playing the offense against the Blue Alliance, trying to keep them from scoring both on the rocket and in the cargo. 2485 Warlords with Onizuka dropping a piece, a hatch panel off the side of that rocket ship, or that cargo ship. 6304 successfully placing four panels, four hatch panels on the rocket ship on the back. Tech Tiger still trying to stop the Blue Lions from scoring. Blue Lions drops a piece of cargo, it goes into Bay 1 and is good. Tech Tigers with Sentinel still out there trying to push them around. 1369 in the backside, Minotaur headed back to that loading station. Looks like they're going to go for another hatch panel. We now have five hatch panels up on this blue rocket on the back with one piece of cargo. We need one more piece of hatch panel and five pieces of cargo in order to get that extra ranking point. 60 seconds remaining in the match and Sentinel is doing their best to try to stop full Metal Jackets with Eve. 2485 Onizuka now over here trying to stop the Red Alliance Sentinel from getting in there and blocking them. 2485 trying to push Sentinel out of the way. They're being mildly successful as their alliance partner, Full Metal Jackets, continues to fill it up. 2485 Warlords with Onizuka now being stopped again by the Sentinel. The, the other alliance member, Eagle, now putting a piece of cargo in. Less than 30 seconds remaining and 1251 is hanging over the edge of the line playing offense. Now they're trying to stop the Blue Alliance from scoring more pieces of cargo in that rocket ship. With 15 seconds remaining in the match, it now it appears that Eagle is hung up on the rocket and can't become unloosed to get back to the habitat platform. Six seconds remaining here. Our Red Alliance team making their way up onto the platform. 1369 is successful. And with that, it's the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. First, the Red Alliance with a final score of 87 to 56, getting three ranking points. Three for the habitat climb of 15 points or more. Two for the win. Our next match here on Roebling will be match number 39.